Hey guys, what's up? We are up close and personal today because I'm going to be showing you guys some shots up close. So today what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I know in a lot of different videos that you guys watch, I'm talking about something that I'm using and I usually will maybe go into detail a little bit, but I don't think I've ever done a video where I've actually shown everything that I use or take like supplements or you know powders or different things like that so this video is gonna do that so it's like literally nine o'clock at night so uh, it's been a long day if my voice is a little bit uh, raspy because it's getting later a lot of times over a few months or something I might adjust a few things and so stuff changes so what I'm doing right now isn't just necessarily just what I do from here on out like for good so usually I find different products or I find something that I like better or whatever the case is. So this is kind of what I'm currently doing and using right now and like today. I'm excited to show you guys the stuff that I do on a daily basis or if I don't do it on a daily basis, I'm gonna mention it and, and tell you the reasons why. So anyways, I'm really excited about it because I'm gonna you know, kind of go through this stuff and then I'll explain why. It might be something that you guys uh, will be able to implement into your diet or your lifestyle or wh whatever you wanna say. If you really want to detail out what you should do, get a physical and blood work done so you can accurately know where your levels are and adjust accordingly. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys about that I take is like I said, in no rhyme or reason, I'm just grabbing stuff and telling you. The first thing is we'll talk about is D3, K2. Almost everybody is low in vitamin D. It's not actually not even a vitamin, it's a hormone. But anyways, I literally could probably talk and do a video on each one of these supplements, like an entire video. So I'm gonna try to go through it quickly, but if there's something that you guys want me to dive into deeper, let me know in the comments so we can do something like that. Anyways, D3 and K2, they work together. It is 5,000 IU of D3 and it is 100 mcg of vitamin K2. In addition to that, it also works well in combination with magnesium. This is calm. This isn't necessarily what my favorite is, but Shannon got this a while ago, and so I'm finishing off this to get magnesium. Um, I usually would use a different magnesium, but like I said, there's a big old tub of this. So I basically end up taking this stuff together later on, like in the evening time, the magnesium and D3 and the K2. Next up, I have vitamin C, which basically this is sodium ascorbate. And this is basically, it's like a powder in here and it will dissolve in anything. So this I don't necessarily take every single day, but I could put a little bit of this, you know, if you're um, feeling a cold coming on or something like that, or just to like add in, cause maybe you didn't get that much vitamin C for the day. It's just kind of like an extra thing that kind of goes in like a liquid here and there. Next up is Men's Whole Earth. This is a, like a multivitamin. So this really covers a lot of bases. And the reason why I have some of these other things is because I don't necessarily love the percentages of something in here. So for example, like say D3, this has 100% D3, but it's only 1000 IU. So for me, that's not enough of what I want. That's why I have extra stuff. So I do have a multivitamin that I take, but then the stuff that you're seeing is like in addition to on top of that because I want to change that percentage or that ratio. Next up is niacinamide. It's 500 milligrams. This is really good for skin health and skin cancer. This actually says on here may help support skin and nervous system health. Next up is COQ10. COQ10 decreases as we get older. So as we get older, we are basically have less and less COQ10. And this is for like cardiovascular health and stuff like that. So this is a really good one, especially for like me and blood type and getting, you know, age and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not old or anything, but um, COQ10 levels start to drop down as you get older. So this is good for cardiovascular, heart health, stuff like that. Next up is omegas. So this is omega-3, this is Diva. 
uh, it's DHA and EPA. So a lot of people say, oh, I have salmon for, for fish, or people talk about omegas, or, you know, I eat salmon because it has a bunch of DHA and stuff. Well, this is from algae. So this is vegan. This is from algae, and actually the fish that you eat for your omegas, get it from where? The algae. So this is basically as original as you can get for omegas. The fish eat the algae, it stores in their fat and gets concentrated in their fat. And so then that's why if you do eat, you know, salmon or fish with omegas, you do get a like a power pack punch of omegas in there because it's concentrated in there. But they get it from this, which is algae. Omega-3s, if you remember the three, there's actually three. There's DHA, EPA, ALA. The one that's not on here, ALA, that's in your walnuts, that's in chia seeds, that's in flax seeds. So that's very easy to get uh, in because I have walnuts and flax seeds and you know chia seeds and all that stuff. So that's that one. The next one I have here is this. It's Global Healing Center Detoxidine. This is basically it's iodine. And I do not have this every single day. My multivitamin has 100% iodine. This one I have because I will take maybe, I don't know, once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. And it's a high, higher percentage and it's a really good iodine. I do not use iodized salt because I use pink Himalayan salt. The 100% iodine is fine in my multivitamin, but iodine itself is good for your thyroid for one, but for two, it helps push out other bad things. So having a good source or plenty source of iodine, like, or iodide or whatever you wanna say, will push out bad things like bromide that they use in baked goods. It will push out fluoride, which is bad for your system. Maybe okay for your teeth, if you wanna argue that back and forth, but it's not good as far as being in your system and it's bad for your thyroid. So that's why I do this, but like I said, this is not on a daily basis. Okay, next up are some basically root powders. So this one here is ashwagandha root powder. I have a teaspoon of this every single day. It basically, I'll, I'll just kind of look at the back here, highly prized as an adaptogenic super root, relieves stress, boosts brain and cognitive function, adaptogens, are best to help the body adapt to environmental and emotional stress. Anyways, this stuff is kind of uh, very bitter. It's kind of like gnarly tasting, so you definitely want to put it in with something that's sweet and kind of kill some of that taste. But anyways, this is stuff that I, I have a teaspoon of this every single day. If you ask like what it goes in, it goes in anything that I eat. I'll throw it usually in my, my cereal or oatmeal or something in the morning. All right, next thing is amla powder. It's basically an Indian gooseberry. This is probably the highest or one of the highest antioxidant things out there. So I have a teaspoon of this every day. So it's high, high antioxidants. It has some vitamin C. It's just a freaking powerhouse of like antioxidant stuff. Um, once again, that will just go in anything. I'll usually put that in my dinner or of some of some sort. Next up are two th little things here. One is turmeric powder, and I have a teaspoon of this every day. And then I also throw in a teeny bit of black pepper in with the turmeric. The black pepper helps boost your absorption for turmeric. If you just have turmeric by itself, it, it you won't really absorb that much of it. If you put just a little bit of black pepper in, it boosts the absorbency and your absorption of turmeric tremendously. Turmeric is great. There's so much research on that as far as it's good for, you know, like for one, it's really good for inflammation and stuff like that. And I don't know what they, you know, technically can always like claim because, you know, let's face it, the... Um, pharmaceutical industry and the FDA and all that stuff, they don't really want you to claim anything that's not, uh, I don't know, like patented and, and pharmaceutical and stuff like that. But there's a lot of like cancer research stuff like with that and everything else. So it's just, and it's really good anti-inflammatory. And last but not least is this Global Healing Center, this B12 blend. Vitamin B12, it's uh, methylcobalamin and adenos 
go ball them in. And once again, my multivitamin, wherever that is, my multivitamin has B12 in it. Although the one thing with B12 is you need a high, 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 high percentage of it to get levels. So for example, this B12 is 400 mcg or 16,667 percent of methylcobalamin, you know, in this one here, and this one right here is literally like 104,000. 170% for like one milliliter. I don't really take one milliliter. But my point is, is it looks and sounds insane. That's why some of the percentages, you know, given by, you know, the government or whatever, the RDA stuff like that, it, you can, I, I don't want to say don't go by it, but you can kind of have as like a reference point, but they probably need to be updated. But anyways, my point is, is you need, a, it's a water soluble vitamin and you need a lot of it to really have your levels kind of up higher. As you get older, you also lose the ability to absorb it like as well. So when you're younger, it's probably not any really issue, but as you get older, you kind of need more B12 because you have a harder time absorbing it. This I don't take every day, but maybe, I don't know, like once a week, I'll add in some more B12. In addition to, like I said, I'm already getting my B12 with my multivitamin, but this is to kind of just like help, you know, keep it like boosted up a little bit more. So anyways, uh, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully it's not overloaded. And the best thing that, that I would say is, like I said, I tailor these things around and adjust stuff, but I have a little pill, like, you know, bottle box thing, and I just fill it up once a week. So I'm not trying to like go through all this stuff. And that's probably the easiest way to like go through stuff. This stuff, like the powders, I just have a teaspoon, and I just throw it in something. So this is what I do um, on, you know, as far as like my regimen. That does not include other things which I haven't shown, which are like teas, like green tea or chamomile tea, um, or other spices that are super antioxidant too, that people take actually in pills, like cinnamon and ginger, cloves, nutmeg, all that stuff is so like powerful as far as anti-inflammatory, good for, you know, um, insulin and diabetes, like all so much stuff. But, and some people take those actually in pills, like I could probably have, you know, a bottle of, you know, cinnamon pills or something like that. But those are actually foods that I use and I cook with, you know, cilantro and parsley. And I mean, the list goes on. So those are like stuff that I take, all those spices and everything. Those are things that I take as well every day too. But that's not like a packaged, you know, turmeric, something like that. Although this is a spice, but I'm kind of just claiming it as some of these, one of these like oddball ones, you know, like people use turmeric to like sprinkle in, but I'm talking about like a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of amla, teaspoon of the ashwagandha, stuff like that. So anyways, uh, sorry if I'm rambling on, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff in in a short little video, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna see more or more in detail on one of these things, let me know in the comments. Okay, talk with you guys later.